So now the real mission is starting on the moon, which is the Pragyan rover that has exited from the Vikram lander. Will now be conducting experiments on the lunar surface. Now Chandrayaan three, a rover ramping down from the lander, and uh, India literally taking a walk on the moon. It is not a manned aircraft, manned spacecraft. But uh, it's definitely it has brought India on the lunar surface. I want to go across to Nagarjun Varkanath for the latest on that. Who's tracking the developments coming in from Israel? Nagarjun, uh, Israel is updating us consistently on social media. Even though, of course, we would love more images to surface. But do tell us uh, what is going to be uh, the challenge or the job now for Pragyan Rova? Because while we are celebrating the landing on the moon, the real mission has started now. It's absolutely true. Uh, when the Indians went to bed last night, just a portion of Pragya and Grover was out of the lander. But this morning, when we woke up, another good news is awaiting the whole country that Pragya and Grover is out of the lander and is taking care of uh, carrying forward the experiments that is uh, supposed to be done in the next 14 days. It would travel a uh, distance where uh, it can still see the lander Vikram. That the farthest, whichever the farthest point is, will go to that point and continue that, carrying out experiments. And maybe look at water molecules also on the south, southern part of the lunar surface, and uh, it also has solar uh, solar panels to keep its life uh, intact, as well as camera mounted. So very soon we'll be seeing images of uh, rover uh, on the moon, uh, images taken from the lander as well as the rover as well. Uh, also tell us uh, what is the mood like uh, currently, uh, Nagarjun? Because in Israel we saw, of course, there were cheers. Uh, but uh, perhaps more than the general public, they also realize there's a lot that needs to happen now, and there are several other missions also in the pipeline, and that is why uh, S. Somnath, the Israel chief, wasn't revealing too much. Uh, but what do you think still is the mood? It must be a great moment, a lot of effort of years that's finally borne fruit. It's absolutely true. Uh, I, like we have seen the experiments and the missions carried out by Israel over the decades, but this is truly a feat in itself. Of the first time that we have landed. On the southern part of the moon, where no one else has landed yet, and a soft landing done, uh, the mood is quite upbeat. You saw the cheering, hugging, and the clapping. Uh, even when the rover came out, the first initial photo that came out, uh, there was a big loud cheer in in the headquarters of Israel as well as the command center, uh, looking at this uh, rover coming out exactly as planned. And now they're not, they're saying that they're quite relaxed because most of it will be automated. Things are under control and. We'll need to wait and watch what are the results. They're more excited about the results from the experiment carried out by the builders. All right, uh, Nagarjun, I just do have a quick update that I want to uh, ask you about. That now that the Vikram lander has has let out uh, Pragyan rover and it will be on the surface as well. Uh, what about Chandrayaan 2? Do you, are these uh, communications still there? Is it still that database that is being collected? Because it's eventually going to be a collective scientific experiment. And I understand the world must be waiting for what evidence or, or, or da a database that, sci that uh, India can provide for the scientific community. Uji Chandrayaan 2 is still up and kicking. It's working. There is two-way communication between the Vikram lander as well as Chandrayaan 2 and then to the headquarter here of the ISRO. So uh, what Chandrayaan 2 was supposed to be for three to four years life expectancy or endurance is now extended to seven years because of the ample fuel left in it. And hence there's a two-way communication between Chandrayaan 2 as well as Chandrayaan 3 Vikram lander. So all of it was planned accordingly so that the relay messages can come and a communi communication channel can be set up and it is going as of planned. All right, thank you so much for now. Nagarjun Dwarkana tracking the latest on that. Nagarjun, I actually, we want to stay on this big story because I just want to read out what uh, ISRO has said. ISRO has now put out a latest uh, uh, image. They have put out uh, more videos as well uh, as we are being told. Uh, Chandrayaan 3 mission, the rover made in India, made for the moon. The Chandrayaan 3 rover rammed down from the lander and India took a walk on the moon. What a lovely statement by the Indian Space Research Organization. But I want to also remind our viewers about an image that uh, the ISRO had put out in July when the Chandrayaan had launched. They had put out an image of the 1960s on one side where our scientists had, yes, taken the rocket paths on bicycles. And in the same image on the other side was the launch of uh, the rockets today in, in 2023. It was the effort, the resilience of, and the determination. India did not have the best resources, did not invest as much as it should have in ISRO and in the space programs. And yet our scientists have shown, even with this cost-effective uh, project, that look what we can achieve because we have the talent and the merit.
Coming up on your screen is a special video that has been put out by the Indian Space Research Organization after the soft landing.